Hello YouTube, my name is Tim Lubo, and welcome back to the second part of my OpenCV tutorial. I'm sorry it's been so long, I've been very busy and my computer broke, but uh, it's all good now, and we can get back to adding the OpenCV platform into the, an Xcode project. So in the last episode, uh, if you didn't see it, you definitely have to check it out. We created this build folder with all of the files that we'll need for today. So, to get started, you want to go to Xcode, go File, New, Project. You want this to be an OSX command line tool, and make sure the language is set to C++. I am going to name it OpenCV tut Tutorial then just find where you want to save it. Me personally, I'm going to save it in YouTube, my channel, and right here. Alright, so here we are. I guess the first thing I should explain is the main.c++. The main.c++ is going to be where we're going to be writing all of our code, but first we have to add in the OpenCV project. Currently, there's no OpenCV involved. The first thing we must do to install OpenCV into our Xcode project is go to OpenCV and we want to look up search search paths. Here is where it'll link our frameworks and such to our project. So we want to set always use search paths to yes. We want to set framework search paths to slash user slash local slash lib. We want to set the header search paths to slash user slash local slash include. And then the library search paths is your location for your your uh, OpenCV download. So if I make this a little bit smaller and we can go and look at where I downloaded I put it in Timmy, YouTube, Tim Lupo, Tutorials, OpenCV, OpenCV 2.4.9. So, to get that, you want to go to what, wherever you saved it. So for me, it's slash users, slash Timmy, slash YouTube, slash Tim Lupo, and then you can double check where it is, slash tutorials, slash OpenCV. Uh, slash. So once you found where your folder is, you do slash open cv dash two point four point nine, and then you could do slash. Then we have to find where the frameworks are, and within the open cv folder for everybody, it should be in uh, slash build, because that's the file that we created, and we want to look in the libraries in the build folder, and that is our location of this folder. So that's what you want to do. You want to set the library search paths to the location of this folder. And the reason why we're doing all this is because we're going to be referencing frameworks and we want the frameworks to be built in to the search paths of where it's looking for the frameworks and it'll give you all these crazy errors if you don't set it specifically like this. I had a very tough time figuring this out because there wasn't too much documentation online but make sure it's just like this. Once you have finished setting your search paths, which is necessary for this next part, you're going to want to add the OpenCV frameworks to your project. Note that if you want to add any other frameworks, you would do it the default way. So if you want to add core graphics, you could just go here, and you could go and you could find the frameworks folder, and you could just add it any other way. For OpenCV, it's not much different except we have to know where our frameworks are. So the frameworks are in that lib folder that we were referencing in the search paths. So for me, they're all the way over here. They're in build, and they're in library. And here are all of the frameworks. So the way you want to add them is there are a few that I'm going to add for demonstration, but depending on what kind of OpenCV 
project you're working on. You may have to add video or you may have to add photo or whatever one you want for whatever part of OpenCV you'll be referencing. For this one I'll just uh, I'll just import the default core one so you can get a basic video OpenCV up and running. So to do this it might be easy to grab the library, drag it here so it's easy to reference. So when we're adding it we don't have to go through all these steps. You could just go click here and add it. This is the same as referencing it. You can see down below. It's the same as just going to that location. Just a shortcut. So to start adding we click on here. We could go here open uh, add files to the project and then we want to go to library and then we're gonna start with importing the core. So the core is the basic OpenCV functions. You need this for any OpenCV project and when you're looking at all these different dialogs, I know there are a million different ones do the one that has your latest uh, update version. So right now I installed OpenCV 2.4.9 so install that one it'll work the best. And you can see it was added to the project and then for this project's sake I'm also gonna add the high GUI and the image processing. So I'm going to make a basic video image processing application and I'm going to create a basic OpenCV GUI so if you want to use the OpenCV GUI then make sure to add the GUI part. Uh, just like I said if you want to use a feature from the legacy in OpenCV then you have to add the legacy dialog. But for this one we just need the core, we just need the GUI, and we just need the image processing. So let's go find the GUI. It should be right here. That's right. Install the latest one, and if you notice, we already installed Core, so it won't let you install it again. So now we have the GUI. Could also add files. Go back to the library, and we can add image processing. Uh, another helpful tick, uh, trick is if you want to add multiple of them in a row, you could just go like this. Uh, you could hold Shift and then arrow key to select them while you're holding down shift or if you want to select individual ones you could hit that and then you could hold your command key and select individual ones at the same time and add them all in one take but I don't need to do that so I'm just gonna go and add image processing so now we have all of our OpenCV installed to our project. You can begin coding congratulations after this long grueling process I'm gonna show you some basic OpenCV syntax. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to include we're going to want to include everything that we just added. So IOStream is the basic one for C++, so just leave that. I'm not 100% sure if you need it, but I would just leave it. And then you can s And then we also going to want to include OpenCV2 slash high 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 GUI slash high GUI dot HPP and then we're gonna wanna copy and paste this and what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna for every one of the ones that you added so every uh, library that you added you wanna just include that so I might be yeah I'm missing a G uh, so then we want to include the image processing one and the last one is the core uh, just like any C++ project this is where you would be declaring the different or not declaring but bringing in your different frameworks so that's all normal next thing we're gonna want to do is go here, uh, create a new function, and we can create a video capture object. This is uh, OpenCV syntax, so we could go CV like this, video capture, and we can name it cap and reference it from zero, which is your default webcam. Um, so to distinguish whether or not it's OpenCV, you could use the, you would be using these and it would work just fine. You can see it built, but if you don't want to use these, because uh, it'll get tedious if you're working on a long project, you go up here and you go using namespace uh, CV and then you 
could take this out and you can see it builds just like normal so that's very helpful because otherwise you're gonna have to be adding CV in front of everything and you can see when we're using open CV syntax very often that gets rather tedious and then we could say while while the video capture is open we can create a material so we would have to go CV material web cam oh, excuse my typing I haven't used this keyboard in a while so this was how we would have to do it but now since we added that namespace we could just take out CV which is very helpful so what this does is it creates a matrix I like to think of it as a material but that's a webcam and this material is just the video capture so this material is essentially your webcam and then what we could do is we could read we could read the web cam like this and then we could display the webcam uh, like this so I'll explain this in a second alright and we're good to go it should build just fine builds just fine so I'm gonna explain this very basic code what it does is it creates a video capture object um, from your webcam which is known as zero and it names it cap so then so then what we do is we create an empty matrix or material called webcam and we assign the webcam video capture object which is uh, named cap and we read that and put it in the matrix webcam so you could see the cap is just a variable for the webcam if I name it lol I can just take that put it here and it'll do the same thing um, I'm gonna make it cap because that's just good coding and then so we have this mat uh, matrix called a webcam the matrix is assigned to the video feed that's coming in from the video capture right here and then we have I I'm show which essentially creates a window showing whatever this is uh, so if you're doing all this fancy processing and creating binary images from it you could show the binary image uh, file which I'll explain in my next video when I show you some basic functionalities for OpenCV since that seems to be hard to come by um, and what this does is it creates a window called webcam with the webcam matrix that's right here uh, and like I said the webcam matrix is assigned to the webcam video feed and now if you save it and you build it you should see a webcam of me my webcam is turning on any second here I am so this is all done with OpenCV hello uh, this is all done with OpenCV so this is all you need to know to get started with an OpenCV project uh, so hi and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it be sure to leave a like or uh, share it. Uh, I have when I was trying to learn OpenCV, I didn't find many tutorials online, which is why I'm creating this series. Um, but thank you for the support on my last video. I got actually for a first video a, l a lot of views and a lot of likes and a lot of comments. And if you have any problems, uh, feel free to go on my website timlupo.com to contact me or just leave a comment in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond. Um, but thank you very much. All the downloads will be on my website, timalupo.com, which will be linked in the description. Um, good luck. See you in the next video.